As Stephanie just said, it is a miss on revenue, a rare one for Amazon. Revenue coming in at $113.1 billion versus $115.2 billion expected. It is a beat on the bottom line, though. More profitability. Earnings per share, $15.12 versus $12.30 expected. Guidance, this is very important. And this was also light. In terms of Q3 revenue guidance, the company is saying it was expecting 106 to 112 billion dollars the street was looking for closer to 119 billion dollars in terms of operating income guidance two and a half to six billion dollars on that metric also just want to bring you these cloud numbers really quickly aws that's a beat revenue coming in at 14.8 billion dollars versus 14.2 expected but i think guys that it's really this q3 revenue guidance that's hitting the stock as well as that Top line miss shares are down nearly 5%. We'll continue to dig into this, especially its ad business, given how Google and Facebook did there. So we'll bring you those numbers as we get through them. Deirdre Bosa, Deirdre, thank you. So, so it doesn't look like it was the cloud component. They put so much information in this in press release. Yes, it's, always. They have so it's, it's much. It's kind of a brag <laughs> book up top, yeah. Small business impact, supporting communities. Yeah. Uh, so clearly a revenue miss, as Steph said. Tough for a setup like this and also sort of weaker guidance. Yeah, it's certainly going to feed the idea that there was, um, you know, kind of a big pull forward last year, or at least a market share bulge last year that they were not able to keep up with this year because overall consumer spending is obviously much higher. Advertising, you know, between Facebook's numbers, which were very good, uh, but not as much of a revenue beat as Google, and Google's just completely blowing it away. It seems like Google is really the standout on that front, even though, you know, advertising isn't the main thing for Amazon here. Final point, I always kind of point this out. The guidance for the current quarter operating income, two and a half billion to six billion. This is a quarter that's already one third done. And the range they're giving you oh is three and a half billion. That shows you it just kind of, we don't really know. We're going to go as hard as we can. We'll see what falls to the bottom line. Yeah, compared to 6.2 billion in the third quarter of 2020. So they are la lapping staff some pretty tough comps as they were a pandemic winner. What's your first impression? Yeah, okay, so cloud was good. Cloud's gonna grow slower than Google and Microsoft because they're they're the behemoth, they're the number one in the industry. So I have no problem there. And that suggests since cloud did well, that suggests that margins were better than expected, right? Because it carries higher margins. So that's good, and that's why you saw the, the bottom line beat. Um, you know, I don't know, is it Prime Day that wasn't as strong? Um, is it, uh, you know, tougher comparisons? They get even tougher, though, in the, uh, in the, in the back half of the year. So. We got to get some explanations on the revenue line, and I, I haven't seen the spend number either, and I want to see that as well. Yeah, uh, you see Amazon now down trading 5% uh, lower from, uh, from today's close. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.